today I thought that um, I'd just quickly do a little bake with me video. I've got a little helper here. <laughs> Say hi. So I have Napoleon here to help me bake. I am going to show you guys the banana bread muffin recipe that I made the other day in my other vlog. Um, it's super quick and simple. I currently have my oven preheating and I will have all of the ingredients and prepping time and everything like that down in the description box below. So don't worry about trying to keep up with me. But so basically I've got some bananas here. So it's got three, three to four bananas is perfect. You want to mash those up. I've got some baking powder, self-raising flour, vanilla essence, some salt, I only need a pinch of this, some melted butter, and an egg, and some sugar. Um, obviously, you're going to need like little muffin cases, your muffin tray, a mixing bowl, all good stuff. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mash the bananas and I'm just gonna use a fork. I might do that off screen. I'll be very, very quick. <laughs> Don't really feel like there's much else to do during <laughs> lockdown except bake, but it's good for you guys. <laughs> okay, so I've unpeeled my bananas and I'm just going to mash them up real quick. Um, I recently broke my nail while I was trying to paint the other day. Um, <laughs> my whole acrylic nail came off and it took my nail off with it. So I've taped it so it doesn't come off. Um, but yeah, that's fun. Obviously when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that your bananas are reason reasonably ripe. Um, the riper they are, obviously the sweeter they will be, so the less sugar you'll need to add. The bananas obviously weren't super ripe, and I'm very impatient when it comes to just like, if I want to do something, I'll just do it. I don't care if it's ripe or not. <laughs> so, uh, these ones are okay. They're still soft, so that works. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the bananas all are all mashed up now, as you guys can see. Um, I don't like it too smooth. I do like it to be just a little bit chunky just so you get, you know, bites of banana in your banana bread muffins. Now that that's all mashed up, we're going to pour in our butter so that we got three quarters of melted butter just straight into this bad boy here. And then once that's all in, just stir it up. going to pour in your banana and butter mix straight into there okay so now you're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder like so straight in And then you're also going to add in a pinch of salt. Just put it into your palm. Just like so, just pinch it. And then you're just going to combine that. Now in this small little ramekin that I use for the butter, I'm just going to crack an egg and whisk it up real quick. And then we'll add it to the bowl along with one cup of sugar. And then we'll add our dry ingredients, which is the flour. And we'll also add some vanilla essence, of course. Okay, so yeah, 
one whisked egg. I'm gonna add in the egg. And then we're going to add in one cup of sugar. Um, obviously, it varies on sweetness. So if you don't want it to be very sweet, only do half a cup. If you want to do more sweet, do a cup, basically. Mix it, mix it, mix it. sugar and eggs in. I'm going to add in a two teaspoons of vanilla essence. So we're just going to pop that in. One. Two. And then we're going to add in one and a half cups of self-raising flour. I love white wings. They are amazing. One, pop it in, half a cup, straight in, and then we're just going to combine that. last time. What were the ones that I ate? You only ate the banana ones. They were not. Yeah. They've been chemo tested. <laughs> chemo tested. That's good. Do you feel better? Oh, <laughs> I can be your taste. I can be the new Pete Evans. So these fucking muffins will cure fucking cancer. Yeah, I can walk in there like this. <laughs> and we're going to dress it with some muffin So this specific muffin recipe um, is actually for banana bread itself, but I find that banana bread muffins are way better. So I put them in obviously a muffin tray. It makes six exactly, and I'm going to dress them with some muffin cases just so it doesn't stick to the pan. Um, you know, if you want to make more, I'm assuming you just double all the ingredients just to make that 12. Okay, so while Napoleon is napping, <laughs> I'm going to add this mixture into my little muffin cases right here. And yeah. Okay, I lied. It makes 12. Um, it'll probably make six massive Texas style muffins, but it, it, it makes 12 in the small muffins, so we're just going to have to make some more. I think last time actually I didn't make the, the 12 because I was worried that I was ruining the cake mixture, the muffin mixture. They look amazing. I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 175 degrees for roughly around 25 to 30 minutes. Obviously it varies with different ovens and sizes of pans and whatnot. So just do it until you think that they're ready. I'm gonna pop them in 
Do you approve? Yes? Oh, yes, you So, for the next recipe, I will be making tuna. Ow, ow. <laughs> okay, so I've just grabbed the banana muffins out of the oven and I've just done up some icing. Unfortunately, it's already melting on the muffins, so obviously it's just going to make it taste even better. But obviously, aesthetically and looking wise, it makes it look messy. But I personally don't care, so here we go. Oh, and it's just dripping. That's all right. I think it looks really good. I'm so excited to eat one and I think dad and mum are going to eat some too. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys soon.